Well, we got something special for you today. Brand new, I've never seen before, Old Elk Cigar Cut. If you're a person who loves bourbon and likes to enjoy a cigar, could this possibly be the next best cigar whiskey? Stay tuned to find out for the review next. <laughs> so welcome back to Barrel and Grain. And I've been looking so forward to this all day long. So I had this actually pop up yesterday and had an opportunity to purchase one of these. I've actually never seen this. I'm assuming this is brand new. I've looked on their Old Elks website and I haven't seen anything yet about this. I looked on the internet, still haven't seen a whole lot of anything. I actually saw one on Reddit. Someone had one posting of it saying they got it, they tried it, but there's no review of any kind. So today we're gonna do an official review of it. So just to give you a low down, cigar cut. Uh, on the back of it, it does say that it's a select blend of award-winning signature high malt straight bourbon whiskey, aged six years, finished in sherry, armagnac, port, and cognac cask. So the sherry's got one and a half years, armagnac 1.25, so a year and a quarter, and then port is three to eight months, and cognac is three to six months. I'm assuming that order very well could not be, could be in any different order how they barrel these. Um, overall, it's 110.6 proof. You can kind of see the color, color pretty well. It's decently dark on it, and you can tell it's actually been finished in other barrels. And it's already six years old on top of that. So, on that note, my only concern I'm afraid of is this thing might be super, super sweet. Like, so sweet. Am I still going to be able to tell this is bourbon? So this kind of reminds me a little bit about the Dovetail. The Dovetail had so many things. And the barrel products they put out where they get multiple different barrels on it. But overall, I've had good experiences with the Armagnac. I've had good experience with the Sherry. The Port can be a little much. I've had some where Port's overtaking stuff. And uh, the Cognac, I've had... Most of the time it's been good off, good that I've had so far. So on that note, I'm really excited to try this. I actually poured a little bit of this. So it's brand new. I poured this earlier today. Kind of let it sit out. Open up a little bit and see what we have. Oh, I hope this is as good as it sounds. Mm, right off the nose. Super, super fruity. Wow. So, because Armagnac, Sherry, and Cognac in my nostrils kind of have a little bit of the same smell. I'm not a big wine drinker, but I do know when I smell a little bit of wine. So this here being Armagnac and Cognac, I believe are basically from Brandy. That this here is going to have a super sweetness to it. And it does. But overall, I still smell... Some of the bourbon coming out. So it's a nice mix so far on the palate, on the nose. But it definitely, you can definitely tell this is finished. So give a little swirl job there and see what we got. Coats the glass is okay. You can definitely see you got a little bit on there with the glass. A little more SJ, just as they call it. All right, well, we're down to the final thing. Let's go for the tasting, see if this is really what I've been hoping it's going to be. First initial taste. Drinks about 100 proof. I can definitely tell the bourbon is still there. I want to say by still there, as you can definitely taste a little bit of, I want to say the bitterness, the bite of the bourbon, especially being my first taste of the day. But I definitely do get the sweetness. That sweetness is there. Man, that's sweetness. And now it's starting to open up a little bit. Reminds me of a... Very good sherry finished bourbon. 
And Sherry seems to be the oldest one that was on here in one and a half years. Which I've had good experiences with those. Um, Carl T. Huber's Sherry finished barrel was actually probably one of my favorite ones. I still get the deep dark notes from the bourbon. get plums, figs, I definitely get the grapey note from the finishes, but overall I still get the bourbon taste. I still get it's almost like it's on the brink of tasting a little bit of caramel, tasting a little bit of that oak, but then you kind of get overwhelmed a little bit with the uh, finishes. Hmm, I wonder what the sucker's going to be like when it opens up. Overall, that is not bad. The real test is going to be when I shoot another video with an actual cigar, which my wife not let me smoke cigars in this house. But in the upcoming video, I'm going to be outside trying this out because that's obviously the real test to have a cigar cut bourbon whiskey is how well does it go with the cigar. But before I get that cigar smoke and everything on there, I figure we need to do a quick one to find out just what everything comes out of this bottle and how it is on the palate before we start smoking cigars. It almost mixes together and comes across almost as like an orange marmalade. I want to say orange. It could even be a little bit of the citrusy note. It's kind of surprising you kind of give that, and I guess it's the, it's the finishes built in with the six-year-old bourbon. So six-year-old bourbon usually already has its little bit of the barrel oak, a little bit of the mature already kicking in. And this is throwing them on top of the barrel. So I'd be really curious of what order they put these in. Like a sherry cast, the last finished barrel that it comes out of, which would explain why the sherry I get off of this is so heavy. But then again... Which one's making the most significant impact? Hmm. It says high malt, straight bourbon whiskey, but I do get it a little bit if it was like a rye, a high rye bourbon. It almost comes off as I'm getting a little bit of a high rye. I get the rye coming off really well. Then I get the sweetness. This may in fact be really fantastic with the cigar this might be like dessert tell you the truth for having a great meal getting yourself a nice big juicy steak having those vegetables go with it and then go grabbing a cigar bringing this out and having some dessert overall this comes in around 120 bucks i believe it is for the msrp I got it in my area, it's right around 130 so assuming in most areas it's probably going to be 120 to 130 uh, They did actually have some other ones that just broke out. They had the wheat and rye that came out, and they had the sour mash reserve number two. So far, those, between those three options, this is the kind of one I want to go for and try first. Me, I've gotten into cigars, and it's starting to seem... Like this would be a great one to go with, especially the cognac, armagnac, sherry, and port finish. Port's the only finish I've had where it's gotten taken over. The other ones I've had nothing but bad, good experiences. All right, still got a little bit left in the glass. Let's see what we got left. Yeah, so overall, the rye in this bourbon really keeps the bourbon alive. I really get the taste of almost a high rye bourbon with a sweet finish, which is very good because when smoking a cigar, I've learned that if you don't have a decent proof bourbon, sometimes the cigar taste can kind of take away from it. But uh, what I have learned so far in my with doing cigars, limited experience, 
that rye goes really well because you can continually taste the rye. The rye always stands out. And the rye seems to be making this stand out in the bourbon right before you get finished off with the sweet taste of all those cast finishes. Man, overall, I gotta say that's, that's pretty good. That's, it's not as, it is as sweet, but it's not overtaking the bourbon which is very good. That was my biggest fear with this. I saw a forecast. I was hoping for a dovetail and not ended up with a Basil Hayden's dark rye. That's what I was afraid of. You get a nice rye and you can taste absolutely nothing but port. So on that note, overall, this is pretty good. Seemed like Old Elk has been doing a lot of finishes. I've seen a lot of stuff recently come out in the last year or two with cognac, sherries, all different types of finishes they put out. And this is the first one where I've seen them dump it in all those barrels and call a cigar cut. So maybe you're just getting a little best, the best of all of them, all in one bottle. But as a dessert, absolutely, this is good. Uh, cigar, we have to find out in the next show when I could take this out, break out a cigar and we'll see how this tastes. But in the meantime, I'd probably give this right around an 8 out of 10. Is it good? Absolutely. Is it a finished whiskey? Yes. Is it good for a finished whiskey? Yes. The bourbon still holds up to it so far. Granted, I've only had one pour out of this, but this pour has sat open and opened up for, for the day. So that way I gave a little bit of time to air out before we actually started creeping into it. Overall, it's been good though. My experience has been good with it. I like the purchase. I'm really curious to see how this thing opens up and to see how it goes with the cigar. On that note, at least, if you have recommendations for cigars to smoke with it, gladly hear it. If you have experience with it or if you've seen it, I'd like to hear what you found out about and what you thought. But in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and keep hunting.